So I want you guys to practice the north-south choke. Side control, I wrap my arm instead of this side of his head, I wrap it around his head. And now, at this point, I have to use my body, so look at my chest wall over there. I have to like lower and turn his head away from me. Okay, <laughs> if I can get his head away from me, that's huge. Now, the next part is, I don't want my shoulder on top of his shoulder, or my head on top of his arm. This is what's gonna give him the, the good move next, okay? So I really wanna try and fight his arm out of the way. And if I have to, I'll keep going back and forth until I have his neck, I feel his chin under my armpit. And now I can put my forehead on the ground. And now not just like squeeze, but I'm gonna kind of elevate a little bit and punch into the floor, okay? So the problem people mostly have is they pull, right? What I wanna do is kind of push into the floor and then rotate my shoulder down and forward. And their chin is right there, right? Yes, right yeah. here. Okay. okay, so I don't want them to be able to look into me, okay? That's gonna be a huge issue and hard to submit. The other thing is if I have all my weight on top of his shoulder, it's gonna be hard to finish, okay? So I really wanna like angle my pressure into the, into the neck itself. Any other questions? So you, you started from side control? I start from side control? And you keep the far side? And all I do, and this one stays here for now. Yeah. This one goes around his head. This one goes blocking his hips so he can't shrimp into me. Okay, yep. and now I shrimp and I push his head away. And now I come, and if I have to here, I'll go up and down until I get his chin looking away from me. Okay, and I know I have the neck, push his arm, and now I flex. Try not to squeeze up, punch down. Questions? Good. Questions? Yes, sir. Let's go, one, two, three. What I'm doing is he has a pretty big neck, but without my gi, maybe you can see a little bit better. Um, when I circle this, okay, I'm gonna push his head that way. See what I did with my rib here? And now when I switch my hand to this side, I come up and then I grind. Now I have a tiny little arm, so it goes perfect around his neck. Now I don't want my pressure up here, right? My shoulder is still right here, so I still have some pressure. So I'm gonna separate now. I pulled his head away from his body. And now when I go to pressure, it's much easier. So you interlock almost last? Yeah, but I don't need it. I, I fight that hand, right? This is already here. Okay. I need this. Not until I'm like ready to squeeze. Yeah. Do I lock my hands? Okay. Because he can't get his head out by himself. And is this okay or do you yeah, rather this prefer? Is fine. This okay. Is fine. Yeah, but push down. And then before I even start, I'm leaning. Yeah, push hit your ribs, make them look the whole way. And yeah, good, good flat. Is your head separated, Jeff? Pull uh -huh. them away from it. There, close it there. Yeah, it's hard to tell with the gi on because it looks like your yeah, so yeah, arm's actually under, but it looks like it's under. It goes better. Yep. So I'm going to go like this. Right? I'm trying to like make his face look that way and then slide from his chest to his shoulder down and away so his head gets separated as much as possible. Good. So, Just bring it over yeah. Yeah. so he has me in, in a north-south position. Okay? There's lots of setups that he can do from here, so this is not a good position for me because he's so far away from my legs. Okay, So my legs are going to be everything for me. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna keep my elbows framed on his, and if I can, kind of keep his hips at bay as much as possible, okay? And now I'm gonna, my feet together, okay? Go back and forth until I create a little momentum, and then I swivel. And now I start trying to get my feet back in between us, okay? Yeah. That's really all I'm looking for. All right, so one more time. Okay, and keep his legs away, okay? and I swivel back and forth until I feel like I can get my legs back, back in the game, okay? When he, when he does this, okay, of course I don't want him to spin, I don't want to separate my neck, so I'm gonna defend my chin that way, but let's say he does all that stuff really well, 
and, I, and he even gets my arm to this side of him, okay? I don't want him to touch his head to the floor. So I keep this here and I grab his own head, which is, let me be able to talk for a second, which is typically I don't grab from the bottom ever almost, okay? But this is one of the times that I do, okay? So I don't want him to push this and clear his head, okay? So I want to keep here so he has a hard time clearing his head. And now what I do is I take my own hand and I feed it in here and I punch and squeeze this, okay? So really what I'm doing is punch choking his carotid on this side, okay? I'm not getting a whole lot of pressure here so I have to flex my bicep on my right arm and I'm gonna punch this side, here, okay? So a couple of little things, I can't let him clear my arm so I need to, as he's circling, go back one more time. As he's circling, okay? First of all, I don't wanna clear my chin. I don't wanna let him have that good pressure here, okay? But let's say he's evil even kind of able to. Now, at this point, I, I'm gonna lose it if I can't turn my chin in. So let's say he gets to this point and it's tight, I'm in trouble. So I have to grab his head before he puts it to the floor, okay? I grab his head and then I, Ezekiel, I put my fingers inside and now I go and I find, I can feel the muscle right here, the carotid, the trachea is right there. I go back from the trachea onto the carotid and I punch into that carotid. You do it like this? Yeah. Like a dragon fist. And just punching that carotid. Okay, and then I flex the opposite arm to try and add a little bit extra to that side. Okay? Good luck, let's try it.